Weather Center Live, Torcons of six for parts of the south, including New Orleans. A dangerous threat developing today. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Chris Warren. And I'm meteorologist Allison Chinchar. It's Tuesday, February 23rd. Chris, this system could bring the possibility of a tornado outbreak. That's right, we're breaking down the ingredients that are driving that serious threat, along with the timing and what you need to know now. We'll let you know who has the greatest risk of tornadoes, damaging wind, and large hail. All next on Weather Center Live. Here's what we know right now about the potential tornado outbreak. 30 million people under a severe weather threat today. The risk reaches from South Texas to western parts of Alabama today and shifts east tomorrow. Hail, thunderstorms, and tornadoes a possibility with this. Several school districts in Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi have already canceled classes or plan to release students early today. That's right, so we wanna take a look at what actually is the Torcon. You hear us use this very frequently, but we wanna break it down for you. So for example, you hear numbers like a four, a five, and a six. What you wanna do is multiply that number by 10 to get your percentage chance. So let's say, for example, today we have a six out there. What that means is you have a 60% chance of a tornado within a 50 mile radius of the area that we've given you. So let's say it's uh, New Orleans. It would be a 60% chance within a 50 mile radius of the city of of New Orleans. But Chris, you know, there's a lot that factors into this, not just the Torcon number. That's exactly right. Uh, but we start off with that and a look at where there is a six today. And then we're going to get into the ingredients of why this is all coming together. So let's start off with a look at that threat today. The tornado condition index for southern Louisiana and Mississippi and southwest Alabama is a six. And again, this is a six out of 10. That's as high as it goes. So what we can do now is take Take a look at the areas potentially impacted by strong storms today. This does include the threat for tornadoes, of course, also damaging winds and a large hail. Have to remember that is going to be a possibility as well. So here's a look at the ingredients that you're going to need for severe weather. Shear lift, instability and moisture. And guess what? Check, 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 check. They're not all equal, but the ones that are lacking, other ones are compensating for it. Therefore, we are looking at the potential for an outbreak today of severe weather. So you have the moisture in place that helps with the instability. You have the low and a couple of fronts. You have the warm front ahead of the low, then the cold front. Both are lifting mechanisms can initiate the atmosphere to get that air rising. And once it does, the instability takes over and you can get that air still rising. And then you have the, the winds going in at different directions at different levels of the atmosphere. What that does is it allows these storms to start to spin. And as that happens, the storms can last longer and that's when we can get a mature storms that are big and can produce some uh, damaging winds, large hail, and of course, tornadoes. So here's another look at some of the areas potentially impacted by this. New Orleans, Alexandria, Louisiana, and Jackson, Mississippi, either a six out of 10 on our tour count or a five. So we're looking at a 50% or a 60% chance of a tornado within 50 miles of any point of that city. So we are looking at a serious threat here and it's going to be either in the afternoon or the evening hours. And we're looking now live here at Galveston and in Louisiana and Vinton as well, where we're seeing some of that rain right now, just waiting for some of the stronger storms to develop. That's right. Yes, yeah, so you can see Galveston on the left. Again, we are getting some rain in that area, even some thunderstorms. And then in total, they can end up seeing around an inch of rain today. Vinton, Louisiana, that you see on the right, obviously also raining there. You can kind of see it coming up the windshield of the car. So let's take a closer look at the radar and we can kind of look at where the worst of it is happening as we speak. Right now, you can see we've got some very heavy rain right here along I-10 just to the east of Houston. Even some lightning that's kind of surrounding that area as it heads up towards Beaumont. Galveston, again, you've got a nice cluster here just now starting to make its way offshore. But again, quite a considerable amount of lightning with that series of storms. The wider shot shows you that, again, some of the most intense and heavy rain still over the Texas area, but it is making its way towards Towards the east, places like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, but we also have some convection that's starting to build farther east, thanks to all of that warm, moist air that's coming up from the Gulf. So here's a look at the future radar going forward. Here's what we look at at about 10 o'clock in the morning. We've got some showers and thunderstorms already that we did see on the radar, continuing to develop over Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. But here, this is where we start to notice around lunchtime, Little Rock. Then as we start to go down towards New Orleans, you start to pick up some of those heavier showers around lunch 
lunchtime. As we go into the late afternoon, your evening commute tonight, not really going to be an easy one for folks in New Orleans, Jackson or Little Rock, likely not even for Memphis either. Then as we get later on into the evening, now we start to see some of the heavier showers scroll into portions of Nashville, also into around Birmingham, especially after, say, 10 o'clock tonight. The worst threat is going to be overnight for a lot of these cities, and that's the worst timing that you can have because you're not necessarily aware of your surroundings, aware of what's going on, because let's face it, sleep is a hard commodity to come by. You want to get it, but you do want to make sure you have your weather radio, your apps ready to go during the overnight hours in case something does happen. Here's a look at the breakdown for Houston. Houston's threat is really going to be mostly in the first half of the day and really should wrap up by the time we get to the evening rush. So once you get into the evening hours, it's not a nighttime or an overnight threat for folks in Houston. Looking at Jackson, Mississippi, it is a different story. Your threat really doesn't begin for severe weather until we get to the mid to late afternoon. Really kind of peaks around your evening rush hour and just a little bit after that. And then finally, hopefully those folks, Chris, can kind of get a break once we get to around midnight tonight going forward. But the scary thing is, is that it's going to be happening at dark. It's hard enough in the south to see these storms coming because of all of the trees. And if you're in an urban area, that makes it tough as well. But you factor in the fact that it gets dark, you know, anywhere between like six and seven, depending on where you are, with Torcons of five to six for New Orleans, Alexandria, and Jackson. A lot of this threat happening overnight, uh, not everywhere, but a lot of spots. And then we're going to take a look at that threat overnight coming up a little bit closer here and talk about the threat for tomorrow as well, because we still have the threat for some strong storms and tornadoes tomorrow. That's right. It's not just today and tonight. We're focused a lot on that because it's the more imminent threat, but it's not just that. Coming up, we are going to talk about where the threat remains as we transition into tomorrow including which areas have torque on tomorrow as high as five. But first, we have to get through today. Let's go ahead right now and take a look at New Orleans. It's wet there in Jackson Square on the left. Thunderstorms mid-morning through the afternoon and into the early evening hours. Get ready to show your roots with Root Touch-Up from Nice and Easy. Seamlessly blends with leading shades, even salon shades, in just 10 minutes. For natural looking color, as real as you are. Show the world your roots with Root Touch-Up. The all-new Lexus RX and RX Hybrid. Agile handling, available 12.3-inch navigation screen, and panorama glass roof. Never has luxury been this expressive. This is the pursuit of perfection. The challenges facing the country never stop. So neither does the U.S. Army. We train, adapt, and get smarter. Every soldier, every unit, every day. Not to keep up with change, but to drive it. Nobody knows what problems tomorrow will bring, but we do know who will solve them. Miss Founders Days at Pep Boys. Buy two Rain-X Latitude water repellency wiper blades and get $10 off instantly. And when you buy three select tires, you get the fourth free instantly. Trust the boys to get you there. It's a Lose weight fast with Slim Fast Advanced Fruit and Nut Bars. New flavors like dark chocolate sea salt are the best tasting bars yet with 10 grams of protein and 100% daily fiber. Slim Fast Advanced Bars, it's your thing. Her mind erased, her body tattooed, and she did it all to herself. This is all your plan. It's time to get started. These cases keep getting more dangerous. They're scared of you, and they should be. Blind Spot returns Monday after The Voice on NBC. Currently in our area, 75 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 79. Tonight, some clouds. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 70.
Wednesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High 84. Here's our seven-day outlook. When the going gets tough, the tough keep pulling. No! 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 All new episodes of Highway Through Hell, Sunday nights at 10 on The Weather Channel. Yeah! When heartburn hits, fight back fast. Tum Smoothie starts dissolving the instant it touches your tongue and neutralizes stomach acid at the source. Smoothies, only from Tums. Stanley Steamer is the first carpet cleaning service certified asthma and allergy friendly. It's our new standard of clean. Call about our $99 carpet cleaning special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer, your certified cleaner. Where can you satisfy your craving for a delicious 100% Alaskan cod meal? Right here at Long John Silver's. Enjoy our tasty two-piece hand-battered Alaskan cod basket. Hand-dipped in our classic batter, now for just $5.99. Because at Long John Silver's, you deserve more. This is what I call helpfulness. I called for a quote, and I could feel this extra effort to find out more about me and explain everything. When there was a fire in our house, our Amica rep was there for us. And he kept in touch until everything was fixed and paid for. Practically became part of the family. Helpfulness is what life is all about. And at Amica, we think it's what insurance should be all about, too. That's why the people who choose Amica stay with Amica. Call now for a free auto, home, or life insurance quote. This is helpfulness. Insured. Welcome back. It is almost 11 past the hour. We want to take a look at your Northeast regional forecast. Here you can see live look at Hartford, Connecticut. Not much going on there just yet, but that will change. Washington, D.C. obviously dealing with the start of this system. You've got some showers heavy at times. If you have any travel along some of these interstates, again, 95 here. You can see up around 90 as well as conditions are going to start to, to worsen as we go through the day. You can see we're going to get a little bit of a quick burst of some snow, but the real focus today in the Northeast is going to be the rain. Uh, Chris, we want to take a look, though. It's not just the rain and the snow, but really the most important thing is the severe threat. That is that severe threat early on today, but then again tonight. So the number one thing you need to know is how you're going to get your alerts later on tonight when it's dark, everyone's inside, going to bed or sleeping. So have make sure someone's in charge to be able to, to have the alerts as far as your weather radio or any other device that you have to get your alerts. It's going to be very important tonight. Let's take a look right now at the area where there's that severe threat. So anywhere in orange here, there's the chance for thunderstorms. Okay, and then the red is where there's the best chance for some of the strongest storms, and that does include tornadoes today. So let's take a look at the ingredients that are going to be there tonight. As far as your shear lift, instability, and moisture, those are the main ingredients, and they're all going to be there again. In varying amounts, but you have the moisture at the surface, which acts like the accelerant once that air starts going, helps the air continue to rise with the instability. But before that, you have the lift associated with the fronts in this area of low pressure and the jet stream uh, at the upper levels of the atmosphere right here. Here, but it's the, the the arrows. You see how all the arrows are moving in different directions. Uh, that is called shear, and that is what helps the thunderstorms spin. Once that air goes up and those thunderstorms start to spin, they can last longer and produce some stronger storms and bigger impacts with wind, hail, and tornadoes. Here's a look at tonight. Potential for strong tornadoes does exist tonight and could see some of these storms again lasting the overnight hours. So the Torcon for tonight. Southeast Mississippi, Southern Alabama, it's a six. It's a five in Central Mississippi and Central Alabama. And again, the bigger the number, the bigger potential for that. And this is a scale out of 10. So 40% chance of a tornado within a 50 mile radius of any point, Allison, in the Central Florida Panhandle. So now let's move on to tonight's timing and let's take a look at what we have. So we'll start it off around eight o'clock this evening. Again, you can see it's already raining for portions of Atlanta, Birmingham, Mobile, and up around the Memphis area. As we progress this, again, notice the low. It begins to lift a little farther off to the northeast because that will be its end track. It's going to end up into portions of the northeast. When it does, now we're going to start to see the shift towards Nashville, Birmingham being at the center of probably a lot of their severe weather. Then it shifts to Montgomery, Atlanta, then around Chattanooga and eventually into places like uh, Knoxville. This is going to be your overnight threat, folks. So again, if you live in Knoxville, Chattanooga, Atlanta, Montgomery, Tallahassee, even around Macon, it's going to be peaking during your overnight hours. The same argument could be said for around the Greenville Spartanburg area for the severe outlook. And again, for Atlanta, 
really your peak time is going to be about 10 o'clock, Chris, through the overnight hours. Yeah, and then it's going to pick up again tomorrow. A significant risk for tornadoes again. Coming up, the timing for tomorrow's severe weather. We already looked at today and tonight, and where Torcons for tomorrow are as high as five. But first, today's severe weather threat and the timing for today in Charlotte into tomorrow. You're looking here, you can see throughout the day showers with an increasing chance for some thunderstorms and some strong storms with windy conditions as well in the afternoon. Snow can pile high on roofs across the country each year, but the weight of those fluffy white flakes can really add up. State Farm is getting you to a safer state in your home. So we asked, most residential roofs should be able to support how many pounds per square foot of snow before becoming stressed. Is it A, 5, B, 10, C, 20, or D, 30? Wow. I say 20. B, 10? I really don't know. I'm going to guess. I'm going to say C. So what do you think? The answer is coming up. Andrew, Rita, Sandy, meet Chris, Jackie, Joe, minor damage or major disaster. When you need us most, we're there. State Farm, we're a force of nature too. against this. No choice, 3PO. My sister's in trouble. Lisa! What took you so long? Duracell Quantum lasts longer in 99% of devices, so you can power imagination all day long. <laughs> Building the only truck with the best fuel economy. An award-winning engine. You got that fire. And a 9,200-pound towing capacity takes guts. Overcoming any obstacle, that's the glory. Get a great deal on the trucks that give you both during Ram Truck Month. Now get 0% financing for 60 months, plus up to 2,000 Truck Month bonus cash on 2016 Ram 1500 trucks. Oh my gosh, Stephanie. We're like so goth. Honey? I'm dyeing my hair, Mom. A hair dye? Honey, this one's just purple. Teenage daughter? Get scrubbing bubbles. Kill 99.9% .9 of germs and destroy grime with scrubbing bubbles for 100% problem solved. Lots of vitamins A and C. And only 50 calories a serving. Good morning indeed. V8. Veggies for all. Six straight weeks of the best there is playing the greatest game on the biggest stages. It all begins at the Honda Classic, Thursday at 1 Eastern on Golf Channel. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. If you are on Medicare and struggling to afford the out-of-pocket costs, there is coverage available that includes dental, vision, and prescription drugs. There are benefits with zero copays and zero deductibles. You are allowed to update your coverage. Call the Medicare Coverage Helpline now. If you have Medicare Part A, B, or a Medicare Advantage plan, call the Medicare Coverage Helpline to update your coverage. Free call. Free advice. No obligation. You may be taking new medications or need dental or vision care, or the copays and deductibles are hard to afford. All of this is costing you more than you thought it would. There is a solution. You can call and update your coverage. The call and the advice are free. Call now. The Medicare Coverage Helpline. Free call, free advice, no obligation. Make sure you have all you deserve and update your coverage. Call the Medicare Coverage Helpline now. Call 800-310-0379. That's 800-310-0379. 800-310-0379. When the going gets tough, the tough keep pulling. No! Oh, oh, oh. All new episodes of Highway Through Hell, Sunday nights at 10 on The Weather Channel. Yeah! Currently in our area, 74 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 78. Tonight, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 71. Wednesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High 84. Here's our seven day outlook. It may look like a winter wonderland outside, but letting snow pile up on the roof of your home could pose a serious danger. Before the break, we asked, most residential roofs should be able to support how many pounds per square foot of snow before becoming stressed? A, five, B, 10, C, 20, or D, 30? So here's the answer, C, 20 pounds. Unless the roof structure is damaged or decayed, most residential roofs should be able to support 20 pounds per square foot of snow before they become stressed. Other factors can contribute to your roof's vulnerability, including ice and even how long snow has been packed on your roof. It's important to be aware of winter weather around your home and snow removal may be required to ensure your family's safety. And while we do expect winter out of this next series of storms, severe weather is certainly going to be the big stories targeting much of the south, bringing strong storms, hail and even high winds. Our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, says a tornado outbreak, Chris, is likely today. And New Orleans, one of the areas in that threat, a Torcon of a six today with this high risk. Five parishes have already canceled school today. Joining us to talk about the threat in southern Louisiana, Mike Everson with the National Weather Service in New Orleans. Mike, good morning to you. Thanks for speaking with us. And Mike, the SPC has your area in a moderate risk. Will you put that into perspective, especially near the Gulf? Oh, sure. You know, it's very unusual to, to get a moderate risk down here. In fact, the last one we had was Christmas Day of 2012. So it's been over three years since we've had a moderate risk. Okay, and so kind of going forward, what would you say is the biggest concern for folks living in your area? Damaging winds and uh, tornadoes are our biggest threat. Hail is kind of on the minor side. And actually the chance for stronger tornadoes slash long, uh, long living tornadoes, that's just not typical for down here. You just really don't usually get that combination of high shear and this ability to produce that, uh, that threat for those types of tornadoes or wind conditions. All right, so Mike, you're talking about some of the ingredients there. You personally, when you look at all of the information throughout the day, how it develops, what are you going to be most interested in looking and watching today? Well, we're pretty, we're pretty confident that that wind is coming in. That's a very strong low pressure system coming in and that surface all developing. Uh, I've got models showing this thing getting down to 990 millibars, maybe even lower than that. That's tropical storm force or tropical storm um, pressures there. So as low as that low gets, uh, we're looking for that wind to come up and instability. Just concerned with uh, any daytime heating we get, uh, definitely getting things going pretty quick. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it again, folks. That was Mike Epperson from the National Weather Service in New Orleans. Well, coming up, we are also talking about the snowy side of things, where we're talking could see up to a foot of snow end up falling tomorrow. And of course, all throughout the morning today and tonight, the Weather Channel has you covered when it comes to that severe weather threat and the risk for tornadoes. So we're going to have the timing and the impacts of the dangerous weather in the south and where some of the most significant threat for tornadoes will be today. That's right, and a severe threat. Let's take a look at the timing for the city of Atlanta. Again, you can kind of take a look at the shot. It's very foggy to start off the day. That goes to show you how much humid air is really already in place for the city of Atlanta. The rain should likely start this afternoon, but we really don't ramp up our severe threat until we get later on tonight, and especially, as we mentioned again, overnight tonight. So if you live in Atlanta or some of the other areas in Georgia, you're going to be dealing with the situation where you may be waking up in the middle of the night. The kids might be waking up, the dogs barking, that sort of a thing. That's what you might have to deal with in Atlanta tonight. That's right. And here is a live look. Again, we're kind of looking at conditions. You can see the rain kind of sliding up the windshield. This is from Louisiana, I believe. We'll be back with the latest after this. New Tidy Cats Lightweight 4-in-1. Fights mess right. Attacks three strong litter box odors. Plus, locks clumps tight. And now, it's light. Every home, every cat. There's a Tidy Cats for that. 
Can a toothpaste do everything well? This clean was like, pow. It added this other level of, of clean to it. It just kind of like wiped everything clean. Six times cleaning. My teeth are glowing. They are so white. Six times whitening. I actually really like the two steps. Step one cleans, step two whitens. Every time I used this together, it felt like leaving the dentist's office. Crest HD, six times cleaning, six times whitening. I would switch to Crest HD over what I was using before. From the moment they wake up, doers don't stop. Every day is a chance to do something great. And for the ones they love, they do anything. Sears Optical has glasses made for doing. Right now, buy one pair and get another free. Quality eyewear for doers. Sears Optical. Really? Do I even need life insurance? Well, final expenses can be very expensive. Without insurance, the financial burden of credit card debt and funeral costs may fall to your loved ones. Makes sense. But can I afford this kind of coverage? MetLife's rates are affordable, and you can choose the amount of coverage that fits your needs and budget. I've been turned down for insurance before. How is this any different? MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance is different. In fact, you cannot be turned down for health reasons. I'd like to get life insurance. <laughs> How do I even start? It's easy. You can apply in a single phone call with no medical questions or exams. Will my rates go up as I get older? Absolutely not. This coverage lasts for life. Your rates are guaranteed to never increase for the life of the policy, and your coverage will never decrease. Guaranteed? Guaranteed? Guaranteed. Yes, guaranteed. If you're age 50 to 75, MetLife Guaranteed Acceptance Whole Life Insurance offers affordable coverage designed to help with final expenses, such as medical bills, credit card debt, and funeral costs. Coverage amounts range from $2,000 to $25,000. Rates start at less than $10 per month, and there are a variety of convenient payment options. And it's from MetLife. MetLife? From MetLife? That's right. Guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance from MetLife. In that case, I'm going to contact MetLife. MetLife makes it easy to get coverage that's affordable and reliable. Guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance can help you get the protection your family needs and the peace of mind you deserve. Call 1-800-783-8155 to learn more about guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance. That's 1-800-783-8155. 1-800-783-8155. Why is it we love superheroes? And why is it we always put capes on them and make them fly? Truth is, some heroes don't fly. They drive trucks. And they show up when you need them most. Face your worst case scenarios and stay at your side through every step. When you don't know what to do next, we do. We're Service Master Restore. Every disaster's worst nightmare. It's amazing out there to me means you know, just the beauty of what is around us. You know, a beautiful sunrise, waves crashing on the beach, enjoying that first snowfall of the season, watching a tornado spin in the plains of Oklahoma. And to me, that's what it's amazing out there is. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. Today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 78. Tonight, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 71. Wednesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High 84. Here's our seven day outlook. Captioning brought to you by California Walnuts. What makes this the best simple dinner ever? Great tasting, heart healthy California walnuts. So simple. Get the recipes at walnuts.org. 
Thank you so much for sticking with us. 29 past the hour uh, with Weather Central Live. I'm Allison Chinchar. And I'm Chris Warren. Uh, we are tracking a serious severe weather threat, which includes the possibility of strong tornadoes today in the south. And we're going to keep you up to date here on the Weather Channel throughout the day and tonight as long as that threat lasts. We also want to get you caught up with what else is going on uh, around the country. That's right. So let's take a look at the window to the world, as we like to call it. We'll highlight some of the spots that we're considering for some of the worst severe weather today. First look is Houston. Again, you can see some fog kind of off in the distance. It has been raining there. Temperature is very mild, about 64 degrees right now. Now we move on to Auburn, Alabama, another spot where we are going to be considering, uh, or Alexandria, Louisiana. We'll go there next. This is another area that is going to be dealing with some severe weather for today. Right now, about 55 degrees. Again, you can see the streets already very soaked. We've got some rain coming down. Now on to Auburn, Alabama, where we can see, again, all of these areas are going to be under the gun whether it's today, tonight, or even into the overnight hours for the threat for severe weather. And Chris, right now about 60 degrees. Notice all of these locations, Chris, were warm. They've got either fog or just moisture setting there. So already we're noticing some of those necessary ingredients there in place as of right now. And it kind of looks like a spring day in a way, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing. We're going to have some of that, what you think of as spring weather today. Unfortunately, it's the, the dangerous side of spring weather here in February. Let's take a look at the areas where there will be thunderstorms today. And that threat for thunderstorms does go from Texas all the way over to Florida and parts of Georgia today. And you can see the red here. This is where there is the greatest threat for some of the strongest storms. That red area right here. And there is a tornado threat as well. Tornado condition index. This means in southeast Texas, there's a 4 out of 10 chance of a tornado within a 50 mile radius of any point. Northern Louisiana, western Mississippi, it's a 5. Get farther to the south, it is a 6 out of 10. A 60% chance of a tornado within a 50 mile radius of any point in this region today. And then we're going to watch that threat shift to the east. Here's a look at the areas that we're looking at for Tonight, we are going to be tracking storms uh, from New Orleans to Nashville down to northern Florida. And the red is where there's that chance for some of these strongest storms. So we look at the tornado condition index today uh, as we look at it again to give you an idea of some of the biggest threats. And it's going to be southeast Texas, northern Louisiana, western Mississippi. And we're also looking again into parts of Alabama later on for the chance for some of the strongest storms. But the southern Louisiana in Mississippi and into uh, southwest. Alabama. That's where we're going to see uh, some of the strongest storms. But again, on the other side of this, uh, there will be some completely different weather, and that is going to be the snow and the wind, Allison. That's right. Yeah, we can't forget about the Northeast, even though the severe threat really won't be there, Chris. We do have some more impacts that will be uh, taking place. Here we look at what we have winter-wise. We have a winter weather advisory for portions of the Northeast and a winter storm wash for, watch for regions of Michigan down towards Indiana and also into Illinois. Now, the first bit of winter is going to pop through the Northeast today. Then it will start to transition back over into rain before the next round of snow begins to push in. Overall, in total, by the time this whole system ends on Friday. We're looking at widespread about one to three inches in a lot of these spots. But notice again in northern Maine could see as much as five to eight inches around Buffalo, Cleveland, even around Erie, Pennsylvania, possibly about three to five inches of snow. Then as we transition into the Midwest, especially states like Michigan, where pretty much 90 to 100 percent of the precipitation you are going to get is going to be in the form of snow. Naturally, you're going to have some of those higher totals. So a lot of these spots we're talking eight to 12, but a couple of pockets right there along the lake could see maybe 12, even 18 inches of snow before it is all said and done. But a little bit farther south, cities like Indianapolis, Cincinnati, and around Lexington, most likely still around that one to three inch range. We still have a lot of the necessary ingredients. So you notice the same low. All of the necessary ingredients that are setting up our severe weather for the south are still also helping to develop what we need for the winter side of this. Again, we've got the warm, moist air sliding up along the eastern edge of this. But once the system slides to the northeast, the low pressure that is we get all of that colder air pooling in from behind. So for a lot of those folks that were dealing with such beautiful conditions over the past weekend, it's certainly going to change as we get into the next couple of days, Chris. Yeah, change in a big way <laughs> indeed. Right now, let's go inside weather with senior meteorologist with the weather company, Dan Leiter. Dan is joining us as we go inside weather from Andover, Massachusetts. Dan, first, let's talk about the what we're seeing today and that severe weather threat. You look at the the big pattern in the atmosphere on a broad scale, what's standing out with the way things are developing today? 
Uh, with the severe threat, Chris, it's obviously there. It's obviously very high. Uh, the short wave that is causing this uh, system to develop is really intense as it moves out of the Rockies. We had a lot of snow yesterday in the Rockies, and, and a lot of areas picked up more than expected. And I think that's really a good indication of just the potency of this short wave, this piece of energy, as it moves out of the Rockies and kicks into the plains. And remember last week we were talking about this being a, a more of a snow threat for the East Coast rather than a severe threat and a snow threat for the Midwest. Now it's actually flipped and part of the reason for this is because that shortwave is just so strong. The models last week couldn't get a handle on just how intense this wave was going to be but as it moves through the Rockies it's very clear, at least clear to me and I think clear to the models at this point, that this is a wonderful temperature conditions, but that's going to change for a lot of folks, not just in the Northeast, but especially in the Midwest. So I think anybody that was perhaps maybe hoping for spring to come in, probably you don't have the best news for them. Yeah, Allison, we, we have the uh, the crocus bulbs already starting to uh, push up through the soil here. So it's going to be interesting to see how the next uh, week to two weeks play out because we almost had a little bit of a taste of spring and it will actually get another one, I think, this weekend as another little burst of warmth moves out of the west and through the plains and Midwest. But after that is when I think everything starts to change and change in a big way. We have a polar vortex and it's actually a lobe of the polar vortex, but it will be precariously close to the northeast and Midwest as we head into next week and be on into the first week of March. That lobe right now, we're not really sure whether it fully drops down out of Canada or it stays mostly up into Canada. But one thing is very clear, there's a lot of Arctic air sitting just across the border. It remains to be seen how much of that actually comes down, but it's very close, it's precarious. It will at least get into parts of the Great Lakes and Northeast from time to time next week and beyond. But whether it makes a full drop into the lower 48 or, 48 or not remains to be seen. But one thing is clear, it looks a lot cooler and potentially snowier second half of next week into the first week of March. So Dan, is it that lobe of the polar vortex or is it something else that's gonna bring the potential for a bust or headaches this week? Uh, it's just, it's a messy pattern overall, Chris. It's, there's so many short waves in the northern branch of the jet stream that we really can't get a good grip on how things are going to play out. And for me, it's very difficult because timing these short waves makes all the difference when you're especially talking temperatures across your main consuming regions like the Midwest through the East Coast. So really, it's, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to time storm systems more than a, a week or so in advance. All right. Well, thank you so much again, folks. That was Dan Letter joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And it is going to be a long day for a lot of people and a lot of National Weather Service offices out there forecasting the threat for potentially life-threatening storms today. So we're here also tracking the potentially dangerous tornado outbreak, which is going to be with us today, tonight, and again tomorrow. That's right. And that includes portions of Florida coming up. Why the threat in the Sunshine State has been so significant this year. But first, we're timing out today's threat, tonight's threat, and tomorrow in Raleigh. You can see here, temperatures are going to be warm today. It's going to feel like tomorrow in Raleigh, like a day for thunderstorms, and that's what you're going to get. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 78. Tonight, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 71. Wednesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High 84. Here's our seven day outlook.
moments are beautiful, unless you have allergies. Then your eyes may see it differently. Only Flonase is approved to relieve both itchy, watery eyes and congestion. No other nasal allergy spray can say that. When we breathe in allergens, our bodies react by overproducing six key inflammatory substances that cause our symptoms. Most allergy pills only control one substance. Flonase controls six, and six is greater than one. Complete allergy relief or incomplete? Let your eyes decide. Flonase, six is greater than one, changes everything. Someone's hacked all our technology. Technology? Say, have you seen all the amazing technology in Geico's mobile app? Mobile app? Look, electronic ID cards, emergency roadside service. I can even submit a claim. Wow. Yep, Geico's mobile app works like a charm. Geico, expect great savings and a whole lot more. Olay Regenerous renews from within, plumping surface cells for a dramatic transformation without the need for fillers. Your concert team might show your age. Your skin never will. Olay Regenerous. Olay, ageless. And try Regenerous Microsculpting Eye Swirl. It instantly hydrates to plump and lift. That bumper's not going anywhere. We could just have more tape. Oh, oh! <laughs> Gorilla tape, of course. Gorilla tape's double thick adhesive and rugged outer shell is three times thicker for a hold that lasts for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Here's something new. Now you can get the Weather Channel forecast on the new LL Bean app. Just tap, shop, and discover. The new app from LL Bean featuring forecasts from the Weather Channel. Download today. If I want to go up, hello. If I want to go down, hello. but then if I want to come back yes. again, it's perfect. My favorite part perfect. is to be able to lift your legs up a little bit and it feels like I'm just cradled. Change your sleep, change your life, change to Tempur Pedic. Legend says Thor's hand made a hammer mighty. Well, in some hands, every tool becomes mighty. An all powerful impact wrench, a supreme on car lathe. The 4,000 ASE certified technicians of Firestone Complete Auto Care prove the tool's only as good as the hands behind it. Firestone Complete Auto Care. Whatever you drive, drive a Firestone. Where can you satisfy your craving for a delicious 100% Alaskan cod meal? Right here at Long John Silver's. Enjoy our tasty two-piece hand-battered Alaskan cod basket. Hand-dipped in our classic batter now for just $5.99. Because at Long John Silver's, you deserve more. USA Today and Time Magazine named the Ring Video Doorbell Top Gadget. Why? Because with Ring, you're always home. You can see and speak to whoever's at your home from your smartphone. And with over 4,000 five-star Amazon reviews and an incredibly simple self-install process, Ring is the smartest, most cost-effective way to protect and monitor your home. Get peace of mind and protect your home with Ring. Available at ring.com. Home Advisor is a very easy way to find a home contractor, and for me, it's the only way. Home Advisor instantly connects you with top rated pros for any type of home project. If you need it, Home Advisor has it. And it's completely free. Go to homeadvisor.com now. The duet plot. Right now, this is a look at the area we're watching for strong storms today, which does include the possibility for tornadoes. This is our thunderstorm forecast from the Weather Channel. Big area in the south, almost the entire state of Louisiana has the chance of seeing some of the strongest storms, thunderstorms for the entire state possible. Parts of East Texas in that threat for tornadoes in Southeast Texas, a four out of 10 on our Torcon. It's a five out of 10 today in Northern Louisiana and Western, or Western Mississippi. Southern Louisiana and Mississippi and Southwest Alabama, it is a six out of 10, a 60% chance of a tornado with a 50 mile radius within a 50 mile radius of any point in this area. The strong storms could bring significant tornadoes to parts of Florida again. It has been a busy year so far. The state has already seen its share of damaging tornadoes, 13 
since January 1st. That's right, and no part of the state is in the clear. So far, tornadoes have hit from the Panhandle all the way to South Florida, just north of Miami, Cape Coral, Siesta Key, Coconut Creek. They were all hit in January. Then Century, Miramar, and Pompano Beach, they were just earlier this month, Chris. And a lot of these storms happening in the morning. We were tracking these storms here live on Weather Center Live as they were happening. So it has been active, and we've been seeing tornadoes through day, night, morning. It didn't matter and it doesn't matter still. Here's a look at where the Florida tornadoes have been so far this year, or how many. There's been 13. The deadliest was an EF2, but the strongest was an EF3. And let's take a look now by the numbers. So you look at the number here, that's a three, and that is an EF3. That was the one EF3. So those go together. Uh, have not had uh, any EF5 or EF4s, but there have been four EF zeros, and you can see here, here, and then peppered in there. And then as far as the EF twos, there's been some of those as well here. So it has certainly been busy from the Panhandle to South Florida, Allison. That's right. And then going forward again, we're talking about the threat again for uh, Florida as we transition into Wednesday. So let's take a look at what we have for our ingredients here. You've got the mo moist surface flow kind of pulling up. We've got a lot of that moisture already set into place. And again, those warm temperatures, it's been above average for much of the Gulf Coast uh, and the Atlantic side along Florida for days now. Tomorrow, again, we've got that strong low-level jet. We've got a lot of uh, everything taking place. We've got shear, the setup for shear also beginning. All of the necessary ingredients are going to be in place for this particular storm um, as we go forward. So again, Florida will be under that threat once again as we go through the next couple of days. So Chris, it really just the question becomes, you know, whether or not, uh, not just will they add some tornadoes, but possibly how many tornadoes they add to that count they already have. And that just gives you an idea of the confidence in the forecast and the threat for some of the strong storms. So again, we're here on Weather Center Live, we are taking you through today, tonight, and tomorrow, picking it up with tomorrow right now. And let's take a look at that forecast and where we're going to see that chance for tornadoes and damaging winds in some areas, especially to the north, could have some large hail associated with this. So strongest storms from Florida all the way up to Virginia, but there will even be thunderstorms in the north east tomorrow. Here's the tornado condition index and we look at the Carolinas, Southeast Virginia as well and Eastern North Carolina. It's a five, a five out of 10 on our exclusive tour con here at the Weather Channel, a four out of 10 in Eastern South Carolina. As far as Florida goes, three out of 10. If there is a tour con issued for you, period, heads up, there's a chance for tornadoes. But the bigger the number, the bigger the threat for tornadoes. Southeast Georgia and Florida, 3 out of 10. So a 30% chance of a tornado within a 50-mile radius of your location in that region. Here's the specific timing right now. So by morning, the storms will be long gone from Nashville, just outside of downtown Atlanta, and then pushing. Here you go for the Carolinas into the day, mid-morning, into the afternoon, heads up in Raleigh. And we're looking now at the Outer Banks. Going to see some showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening. Should be clear from Charleston, just some of the lingering showers behind it. And then the storms moving off into parts of the mid-Atlantic, Allison. That's right. Well, we don't want to forget about the folks in the north because there's also a winter threat from this very strong storm system. And coming up, we'll talk about where the greatest impacts from snow will be, including some areas getting up to a foot of snow. But first, we are timing out the severe threat in Jackson, Mississippi. Here you can look again. We have some showers already this morning, but the real peak of your severe weather is going to be late this afternoon, unfortunately, during your evening commute and as we head into the late hour. Similarly, for Atlanta, we have a, a similar timing uh, going out there right now. Very foggy, 58 degrees. trucks with the best fuel economy, best towing, best torque, and best payload takes guts, overcoming any obstacle, that's the glory. Get a great deal on the trucks that give you both during Ram Truck Month. Get 0% financing for 60 months, plus up to 2,000 Truck Month bonus cash on 2016 Ram 1500 trucks. We know you have a morning routine. We have one too. 
seven days a week. AMHQ is right here and weather ready. Let me get you ready for the day weather-wise. We've got a lot going on this morning. Definitely see what kind of pattern we've had. So start your morning routine with Jim Cantori, Stephanie Abrams, Jan Carfagno, and the rest of AMHQ. It is a team here at the Weather Channel and an awesome team at that. Let's get right to what you want, and that is the weather. AMHQ, every morning starting at 5 on the Weather Channel. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under cloudy skies. Today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 78. Tonight, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 71. Wednesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High 84. Here's our seven day outlook. Haven't seen Maggie in months, sitting in with time on my head. Loneliness plays tricks with my mind. Everything that's not doing looks like something. I'm not driving and driving me crazy. Once the city bus got that I don't have, I keep my light on. I keep the seat warm. But rust is all that feels real anymore. Not driving drives you crazy. Get covered and go at safeauto.com. You know, some people think reverse mortgages sound too good to be true. I mean, you get cash out of your home, no monthly payments, and you still own your home. You'd think there has to be a catch, right? Well, there isn't. It's like any other mortgage, only with a reverse mortgage, the loan's paid back when the last borrower leaves the home. In fact, reverse mortgages are based on a notion that President Reagan signed into law over 25 years ago in order to help seniors remain in their homes. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you may qualify for a government-insured reverse mortgage with AAG that allows you to turn the equity in your home into tax-free cash. Call 1-800-981-6380 now to receive receive a new free information kit, including reverse mortgage guide and DVD, personal stories from people like you, and a brand new family guide for children and loved ones, all absolutely free with no obligation. AAG can help you eliminate monthly mortgage payments, pay off credit card debt or other bills, and provide some real retirement security. Call 1-800-981-6380 today to get your free AAG reverse mortgage information kit and bonus DVD. In the kit, you'll receive a helpful three-part guide. The first will show you how a government-insured reverse mortgage allows you to access the equity in your home as tax-free cash. Half a million people have already done it. The second booklet contains stories by people just like you who have had their lives changed forever. And the third guide is full of helpful answers and information for children and loved ones. Call 1-800-981-6380 now to receive your information kit and DVD all absolutely free. It's simply an effective way for folks just like you to get the cash you need to enjoy your retirement. Find out why a reverse mortgage could be the retirement solution you're looking for. Call 1-800-981-6380 now to receive your information kit and DVD all absolutely free. Call 1-800-981-6380 now. AAG, the best advice for a better life. When you're on hold, your business is on hold. That's why Comcast Business doesn't leave you there. When you call, a small business expert will answer you in about 30 seconds. No annoying hold music. Just a real person, real fast, whenever you need them. So your business can get back to business. Sounds like my ride's ready. Don't get stuck on hold. Reach an expert fast. Comcast Business. Built for business. Welcome to Azure. The Palm Beach Gardens address where waterfront living has been perfected. 14 acres of refined living with concierge services and unequaled resort amenities. And best of all, the most extraordinary contemporary condominium residences you can imagine. Reservations are now being taken in our final building. Azure. Waterfront living perfected. When the going 
gets tough, a tough team pulling. All new episodes of Highway Through Hell, Sunday nights at 10 on The Weather Channel. Yeah! I don't know about you, but it's 53 past the hour. Pancakes sound awfully delicious right now, but you don't really want to eat these pancakes. Todd Anderson sent us this video from Little Traverse Bay, which is off uh, Lake Michigan. Pancake ice typically forms in areas with it that have some waves, and that also kind of gives them the rim shape that kind of surrounds them, and as the air temperatures are generally just below freezing, but it looks pretty. It does look pretty. I like to think of ice, and we'll see like the, 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 the ice balls as well sometimes. You think of it as like the Earth's crust. You know, you have rock that gets broken up, like ice gets broken up, and then water shapes it the way it will. Like you get the pr pretty river rocks that can be flat sometimes, like pancakes, or round. And if you're hungry enough, you start envisioning things that look like food. Who, who else is thinking powdered sugar on that? I know, right? right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Let's take a quick look at your Midwest regional forecast here. We've got uh, a couple of spots to show you um, in Michigan and then also down near Cleveland. Cleveland actually looks beautiful. Maybe perhaps a little bit of haze. It's hard to tell in the camera again, but we will be starting to notice a change over the coming days. We're going to start to pick up um, some snow and in some areas, Chris, a pretty significant amount of snow uh, in just the short term, especially in Michigan. So let's take another look at the winter weather side of this particular storm. We already have have winter weather advisories in place for portions of the Northeast and a winter storm watch for the areas we just talked about in Michigan, Indiana, and also portions of Illinois. Here is a look at our overall snowfall totals. Obviously, you can see from the purple colors, really the bullseye area is going to be Michigan stretching down towards Chicago. The reason for that is, for the most part, when their precipitation starts, it's most likely going to start as snow and end as snow. So you really get that accumulation, whereas the Northeast, you're going to go through a different round. You're going to go with snow, then you're going to have some rain, then you're going to go back to snow and so that's why the amounts are smaller typically in the northeast we're looking at around one to three inches northern Maine could pick up around four to six and then as you start to go closer towards the midwest we're talking columbus cincinnati cleveland also around lexington looking at around three uh, up to around three inches then around the southern side of chicago about five to eight but really the peak is going to be in michigan especially along the lake we could see as much as 18 inches of snow we're also talking about rain and wind as we go a little farther south look at the high wind watches right here in Arkansas and all the other areas that are looking at a wind advisory. And as we put this into play, we start off with the very strong winds in Texas, 30, 40, 50 miles per hour, but that begins to spread east. So by tonight, Little Rock, 50 to 60 mile per hour winds, Jackson, 30 to 35. Then as we push into Wednesday, again, that wind shifts. Now Atlanta, 40 to 50 miles per hour as we go into Wednesday. Even cities like Charlotte and Jacksonville also start to see their wind ramp up once we get to around Thursday. Here's a look at Tuesday. Again, you've got that low pressure that's going to build up, but we've got all of those isobars so tightly packed, and that's what really helps uh, induce a lot of those very strong winds. And it's also an incredibly low, low pressure for this time of year, Chris. We were actually talking, there will be several states, including Louisiana, portions of Mississippi, that could end up breaking their record lowest sea level pressure for February once this system finally pushes through. And when you start talking records, you get into territory by definition that you haven't seen before. So yes. there's always that wild card, that unknown of how exactly the day is going to play out. So that is why we are here with you on the Weather Channel throughout the day and the night to help keep you safe as a dangerous outbreak of severe weather develops today in the south. Coming up, we're going to have the timing, the impacts, and where the highest threat of tornadoes and damaging winds will be. What you need to know to stay safe coming up. One of those cities we're watching today will be Burnham. Birmingham. Here's a look by this afternoon. You are going to have some showers and storms around you. And here comes another round later on this evening and tonight. There is the possibility for some strong storms today. And remember to stay with the Weather Channel all day and evening as these storms threaten millions of people. We'll be on the air throughout the night with special coverage right here on the Weather Channel. Allison and I will be back in just a little over a minute here to keep you through the rest of the morning. Currently in our area, 74 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
today, mostly cloudy and windy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High 78. Tonight, partly cloudy. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Low 71. Wednesday, windy with scattered thunderstorms. High 84. Here's our seven-day outlook.